In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Navigator with the Elementor plugin. So let me show you. You can open up the Navigator just by clicking on the right mouse button and then select the Navigator option over here. And if you click on it, you will see that the Navigator will be opened. You can drag it on the canvas to any place you want to. Let me close it again because there is also another way you can open the navigator and that's just by clicking on this icon, this small icon over here, left in the, in the, at the bottom. If you hover over it, you will also see navigator and if you click on it, then the navigator will be uh, opened again. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you can use the navigator to select different parts like sections, columns or widget. Uh, on the canvas. So in this case, I have opened uh, the uh, the front page uh, for the tutorial site that I have made, tutorials for wp.com, and you can see uh, this site consists of one, two, three, four different sections, and inside a section you have a column. For example, this one, and in this column you will have a heading. You have a text editor, which is uh, this text with search over here. And you have a search form. And that's this widget over here. So the navigator makes it very easy to see which part of the site you can uh, you have over there. And also you can select uh, every column, section or widget just by clicking on the navigator. So for example, if I now want to select this heading um, widget, of course, I can click on the heading itself like this, and then you will see automatically it uh, becomes blue in the navigator, which means that it has been selected. But let's say if I now want to select the uh, search form widget, I can also click on the search form widget inside the navigator. And just by doing that, it automatically will becomes blue over here also, which means that it has been selected. So you can imagine if you have a, uh, a page or a blog post with a lot of content and a lot of widgets or uh, multiple sections and columns uh, and whatnot. Um, sometimes it can be uh, a lot of scrolling and if you want to uh, go to a certain part for the website you have to search for it and um, yeah the navigator makes it a lot easier to navigate very easily to the different parts of your website. So for example if I want to go to the column uh, from the fourth section, I just can open it over here in the navigator. I click on column, and then the page automatically will uh, scroll to scroll to the column, which is uh, this part over here. And if I uh, click on the arrow for the drop-down menu for this specific column, then again you can see this column also consists of a heading, uh, a text editor, and a button, like this. So. Yeah, that's basically uh, what you need to know about uh, about the navigator. And if you uh, import a template, uh, for example, or if you want to know what a specific widget is on the on the page that you have, like uh, for example this one here, I just can click on it, and then I can see that this is the post widget. So that's um, basically everything you need to know about uh, the navigator use it because uh, if you don't use it you can make things a lot uh, more difficult for yourself which is unnecessary and of course you can also use the navigator for all uh, different uh, views over here by clicking on this icon you can go to the responsive mode now it has been set for the desktop view but you can also select the tablet view and uh, of course everything works the same with the navigator over here just click on certain parts and this will bring you to that specific part that you have been uh, that you have selected and of course, it also works the same way on the mobile view. So that is how it's done. This way you can easily navigate through all the parts of your, uh, your page or your post. And I would recommend you to use the navigator. So now you know how to open it. You can close it just by clicking on this X mark in the, uh, the top of the corner. And when you do that, it's gone. And if I want to open the navigator again, just click on the right mouse button, select navigator, or you can select this button over here, and this will also open up the navigator. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something new in this quick tutorial. Hit the thumbs up if that's the case. 
Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Ring the notification bell. And I will hope to see you again in the next video. Thank you for watching.